everyone, I'm Bethan and we're going to use our imaginations today to explore our gardens. Think about some of the things you might find in your garden. You might have trees, you might have bushes, you might have flowers, herbs, vegetables. The list is endless. So I'm going to name some objects you might find in the garden and I want you to make them using just your bodies. So, for example, if I said, make me a potted plant, you might do this. But that would be too easy. This time you only have 10 seconds to make the object that I name. Also, if you're with any friends or family, try get them to join in and make the object together. Okay? Are we ready? Let's go. Make me a birdhouse. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Brilliant. Okay, relax, relax, relax. This time, make me a garden gnome. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fabulous. Right, shake it all out. Last one. This time make me a flower bed. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great work everyone. Well done. So you can pause the video here and think of other objects you might find in the garden to make those or you can move on to the next activity with me. Our next activity we're going to collect some beans. Now, we have lots of different types of beans. We have runner beans, we have jumping beans, we have string beans, and we have broad beans. Now, to help us remember all these different types of beans, I want you to do the actions with me. So, join in this time, are we ready? We have runner beans, jumping beans, string beans, and broad beans. But we also have jelly beans, chili beans, baked beans, and of course disco beans. <laughs> so let's see if we can remember all of those different types of beans. Let's do the new ones first. So we have jelly beans, chili beans, baked beans, and disco beans. Do you think you can remember all of those and do all the actions with those beans? Let's have a go, okay? Runner bean, jelly bean, jumping bean, chili bean, string bean, baked bean, broad bean, and disco bean. That was great everyone, but can you do them without me doing the actions? I'm going to call out the beans and I want you to do the actions at home. Are we ready? Let's go. Jelly bean, broad bean, string bean, chili bean, baked bean, runner bean, jumping bean, string bean, broad bean, string bean, broad bean. String bean, broad bean, disco bean, jelly bean, chili bean, jumping bean, runner bean, and disco bean. <laughs> and relax everyone, that was brilliant. So you can pause the video here and think of more beans that we have and think of different actions for them, or you can move on to the next activity with me. Our next activity is called, what are you doing? I'm going to act out some different actions you might do in the garden. And I want to see if you can guess what it is I am doing. When you think you've got it right, I want you to join in with the action, okay? Right, let's go then. So our first one.
What am I doing? That's right, I was picking apples off my tree. Or plums or pears or, you know, whatever fruit you want to pick today off your tree. Let's try the next one, shall we? What am I doing? That's right, I was digging a hole. Let's try another one, shall we? What am I doing? That's right, I was planting a seed. Let's try one last one, shall we? I doing? That's right, I was filling my watering can up and watering the flowers. I want to see if you can think of more actions you can mine and get your friends and family to see if they can guess what you are doing. Then we can move on to the next activity. Okay, now we're going to explore our gardens a little bit more. So I want you to make sure that you have enough space around you that you can move freely without hurting yourselves, okay? I want you to move around the space, around all of your space, imagining that you can feel the grass on your bare feet. So we're walking on grass now and you can feel it tickling your toes. And do you like it or don't you like it? Okay, now I want you to imagine that you're walking on gravel and it's sharp and it hurts and it's do you walk fast or do you walk slow? Okay, now you're walking through really thick, squelchy mud and your shoes are getting stuck in it. Now you're walking on hot sand without any shoes on and it's burning the bottom of your feet. Okay, now you're jumping in muddy puddles and you're splashing and you're having a great time, go! Great work everyone. You can replay the video and explore those in different environments again in a bit more detail or you can move on to the next activity with me. So this summer I decided I was going to plant some sunflowers in my garden. Did you guys plant anything? So sunflowers start their lives as tiny tiny seeds. So we're going to use our bodies today to follow the journey of our sunflowers. So we are going to get ourselves into a shape of a tiny seed buried underground. So you can start with something like this. So deep underground, it's dark, but 
the tiny seed begins to sprout some roots in search of water. So I want you to wiggle your fingertips really slowly, just your fingertips, and try and reach out, try and stretch all of those fingertips as far as you can. And when your fingertips can't stretch any further, your arms are gonna stretch out slowly, 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 out to the sides, as slowly as possible trying to search for that water and you're stretching and stretching and stretching and stretching and stretching as much as you can fabulous and you reach down and around yourself so reach out towards all the different sides of you yeah you can go back to front side to side lovely and we can explore this movement a little bit now, now that our roots have grown quite a lot, we're going to start to sprout. We're going to break through our surface of our soil. So just using your head and neck, you're going to very begin, slowly begin to grow up towards the sky. Just lifting your head and neck up towards the sky. Love. Now again, as slowly as you can, we're going to grow up. Okay, we're going to grow as slowly as you can so lovely making yourself taller inch by inch lovely. slowly slowly now the sunflowers are nice and straight and tall so really think about being as tall as you can without being on your tiptoes just think about all the height that you can get as your sunflower Fabulous. Now that we're nice and tall and strong in our stem, there might be a little breeze that comes and you might just gently sway in our breeze. But then the breeze gets a little bit heavier. Oh, we might move a little bit more. But remember, our feet don't move because plants don't have feet. And our roots don't become unstuck. But we might blow quite a lot. We might move around quite a bit. Ooh very heavy wind blowing us all over the place we're bashing into the fence we might fall over we might go forwards we might go backwards we might go side to side but our feet don't move and the wind dies down and we come we've got the other side of the storm and we're nice and straight and tall and this is when the sun comes out and our flowers begin to bloom so with our flowers our faces are going to reach up towards the sun and we're going to do a lovely big smile towards the sun. And our petals all open and our leaves, you might have some leaves on the side of you, your leaves might come out and they're on the side and they're looking up to the sun. And there we are, there we have our beautiful sunflower. Well done everyone, aren't you brilliant sunflowers? That's all for today, but thank you so much for joining in and exploring nature with me. My name's Bethan. Goodbye and who else?